So are, in your work, like, I mean, you're doing robotics and things yeah. like this. Um, are Is SIF now pretty much like a, a standard package that somebody pulls off the shelf and then they they put it in? Or are there still people that work uh, that are working on improving it or doing different things with the SIFT algorithm? So absolutely. So there's a big development ongoing actually right now. Um, so SIFT itself is still kind of an absolute standard. So if you propose a new feature descriptor, you will always have to compare against SIFT. That's, that's clearly the point. Um, and we see two developments here. One development um, is towards those binary descriptors. These are descriptors which are much more compact, much faster to compute and really targeted or target um, mobile applications, lightweight compute. Uh, where you want to track features, for example, moving a camera through the environment um, and where you not necessarily want to recognize something again after extended periods of time or something like this. So they're really made for high-speed computation. That's kind of one direction. Mm, okay. And then there's another development which stems from the or benefits from the deep learning developments that we see in the last 10 years um, so that we have a lot of algorithms which try to solve things like place recognition or um, extracting semantic information from images. And those um, deep neural networks, they actually learn a feature representation in the process of performing the actual task. And those um, descriptors are typically then global image descriptors, at least most of them. That means they encode the whole image, but they also turn out to be fairly advanced and fairly robust for doing certain tasks. So in, there are now features which are learned, which beat SIFT on a lot of disciplines, um, um, just as a result of this kind of deep learning byproduct that the classifiers also learn a feature representation uh, for solving the task. Um, I mean, SIFT is still an absolute standard today because it doesn't need to have any training. It's, it runs out of the box. It's fairly fast. It's, it actually performs really, really well. Also, the patent uh, it was patented for a while, which caused some issues. I think the patent has expired last year now. Mm -hmm. um, so you're more free to use it. Um, but if you look for really high quality um, stuff, then there are other learned representations that, that can be better. I see. But it, yeah, it depends a little bit of your task at hand. Okay.